Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Holmes and today we're going to discuss what role vitamin D has in your immune system and especially for those who have an autoimmune disease. Now if you've watched any of our other videos you'll have discovered what we call the autoimmune trilogy. There are three things in the scientific literature that shows to predispose you to an autoimmune disease or exacerbate symptoms of an autoimmune disease. So the, that trilogy includes barrier integrity, environmental factors, and immune system miscommunication. Now where vitamin D plays in this is it's considered an environmental factor. What's interesting though is vitamin D can actually affect all three of these. There's a huge link between vitamin D and your gut barrier. We get vitamin D from our environment and vitamin D has shown to play a huge role in immune system communication. And that's what we're going to dive into right now. So in your immune system, vitamin D is known to regulate what's called CD4 cells or T regulatory cells. The role of T regulatory cells is the maintenance of self regulation. What is an autoimmune disease? our immune system can no longer self-regulate, meaning it can no longer determine what is a foreign invader, such as a virus, a bacteria, a yeast, or a parasite. It can no longer differentiate between those and self-tissue. It can no longer self-regulate, meaning these cells, these T regulatory cells, are not doing their job. Vitamin D is known to help these cells do their job. So when you have a vitamin D deficiency, these cells can no longer do their job appropriately, which will predispose you to an autoimmune disease or exacerbate symptoms of an autoimmune disease. So in the scientific literature, vitamin D deficiencies are linked to rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, ulcerative colitis, Crohn's disease, type one diabetes and lupus, and so, so much more. It's as simple as making sure you've got enough vitamin D to to enhance your immune system, to make it behave the way it's supposed to. Now as a disclaimer, autoimmune conditions are always multifactorial, but getting your vitamin D levels checked is such a simple way to make sure you are on the path to a better health status, to make sure you've got everything, you make sure you are doing everything in your power to make sure your immune system is behaving the way it should be, to push you into remission. So a big question is, well, how much vitamin D should I be taking? What we base this off of is lab work. If you are worried about your immune system or if you have an autoimmune disease, get your vitamin D levels checked through blood. Now the ranges run from about a 30 to a hundred. Now that's a very wide range. That 30 is where we are currently recommending for people with, to get adequate bone health, to decrease likelihood of osteopenia, osteoporosis and fractures. For your immune system, especially if you have an autoimmune condition, we recommend being on that higher half of what's considered normal and safe. So what I like to see with an autoimmune condition is anywhere between a 60 and a 90, potentially all the way up to 100, depending on what, how severe the autoimmune disease is and how long you've had it. So again, that's 30 to 100. A lot of people also ask, well, where can I get vitamin D? Can I get it from my milk, my cheese and going outside? One thing that the scientific, li scientific literature does agree on is your diet is not good enough to get the amounts of vitamin D that you need. Now, the best way to get vitamin D is, of course, through sunlight. The research shows that lifeguards who are sitting in a bathing suit for about eight hours a day, five to seven hours or five to seven days a week, have adequate amounts of vitamin D running through their system. How many of us are that lucky to be able to be outside five days a week in a bathing suit? We are located in the Midwest. We're about nine months out of the year. You are bundled up to your nose. So, and well, I get a lot of questions of, you know, I went for a walk over the weekend. Did I get the dose of vitamin D that I need? More than likely not, unless you are living in Southern Florida or Southern California or somewhere where you get a lot of sunshine. So the next best way to get the appropriate amounts of vitamin D is through supplementation. Now the Institute of Medicine sent out an article or wrote an article 
way back when about the amounts of vitamin D that you should be taking, what they recommended was 600 IUs per day. A recent article has shown that their math at figuring out that 600 IU per day was completely inaccurate. What they were saying is you needed to take 600 IU per day in order to reach that 30. I think it was actually, the, at that time, they wanted you to be at about a 20. And then that's nanograms per milliliter. So the research, the most recent research that showed that the Institute of Medicine's math was incorrect actually showed that you needed to be taking about eight thousand I use per day to reach the minimum requirement that the Institute of Medicine was, was telling you you needed to have healthy bones. That's a huge difference from 600 IU to 8,000 IUs per day. Now, we don't often recommend 8,000 IUs per day. It completely depends on where you are currently with your vitamin D that's measured through blood and how well, believe it or not, your gut is functioning. So we look at absorption as well. One thing I want to let everyone know who is taking a vitamin D supplement is that a vitamin D is a fat soluble vitamin. What that means is that you need to take that with fats. Meaning if your vitamin D doesn't already contain fats in it, you need to be taking it with your breakfast that has a good amount of either eggs or coconut oil or avocado or some sort of good healthy fat along with it. Or else you're taking it and your body's not able to absorb it. You have to have fats with your vitamin D. So if you found this, uh, this video interesting, I highly recommend you check out all of our other autoimmune videos so that you can learn what it is that you need to do to take the steps in your life to improve your health. Thanks and enjoy your day.